Today we are very lucky to have Sarah Loretta here on the channel. She will be looking into Slight versus Notion, the big battle between these two. These are wiki applications which help you to organize you and your team's brain and knowledge, your team knowledge together so it doesn't get siloed. And she is going to dive into how she recommends both of these and best suits them because she's a very much an expertise in asynchronous communication and these work very well with that. Sarah also has a YouTube channel, a website and a Twitter which you can find below and I wanted to personally say a huge thank you for her to come on, make the video and I'm very excited to be doing a few more collaborations I'm sure in the future with her. So big big thank you and let's dive into Slight versus Notion. What's up, Keep Productive Squad? I'm Sarah, a certified Notion consultant and a digital operations strategist. And through my expertise, I help small teams across the globe reimagine how they work remotely using async teams. Before we dive in though, let me preface this conversation by saying I have been a ride or die Notion user for several years, so much so that I've built my entire business around it. And I do think it can be a powerful tool for literally anyone, creators, businesses, and of course my agency systems. But a lot of tools are either catching up or doing things a little bit better now. And so Notion is not actually the perfect tool for everyone anymore. And it kind of makes me sad, but simplicity is key here. So I want to spill some tea today on why I'd actually choose a software like Slight over Notion for building a digital workspace, whether for freelancers, solopreneurs, or small teams themselves. So Francesco has actually introduced Slight here before on the channel, but if you missed that video, let me give you a brief introduction to this pretty comprehensive tool. And of course, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. All right, let's get into this. So primarily Slight is a documentation tool, or as they call it, a modern knowledge base. But since launching, the Slight team has added extra features such as discussions and catch up, which in my opinion, blow Notion comments and update notifications completely out of the water. And to be clear, Slight can't and doesn't actually want to be an all-in tool like Notion. Yes, you can set reminders, but you won't be doing any heavy task management or even complex formulas inside, which saves my life a little bit. Instead, Slight's focused on information first, and I'd actually consider it to be more of a grab-and-go tool, meaning you get what you need, maybe chat briefly with your team on ideas and brainstorming, but then the important thing, you get back to work. And as we all know, knowledge is key, whether it's about employee policies, process maps, even new ideas that come up during team meetings. And thankfully, Slight actually has a template for all of that. Within their template gallery, they've taken this approach of helping you refocus and actually use their product rather than adding templates as a kickoff point and being in this constant architecture build state of mind, which is Notion's kind of primary baseline. And comparatively, the template gallery is a one-stop shop for users that make implementing fast and ironically uneventful <laughs> because they're so useful. Because we're focused on information management in Slight, there's actually no flashy design, there's no need for overproduced aesthetic, it's literally information first with a little bit of flair sprinkled in with emojis and things like that, but that's it. And unlike the Notion creator economy, every template online is an entirely new adventure, with most templates falling flat due to the lack of usable content inside. And that's just my opinion. And that opinion alone is one of the reasons I ended up building a Notion template subscription, Systems OS, so Notion users could leave template hunting behind and actually be productive within the software. However, Slight simplifies this approach even further, which I freaking love, and removes the need to constantly be building and instead documenting and producing results. And so now that you've got a basic understanding about Slight, let me get into the actual real reasons. If you're still watching, this is like the real real tea on why I think Slight is actually a better product for async touch and go teams. So I have my own team here at Systems and for the past two years, we've actually solely operated off of Notion comments internally and clients. And it's kind of funny because I actually kind of started a little bit of a riot over on Twitter, letting people know that we don't use Slack, we don't text, we barely email, and we actually only have one bi-weekly meeting. Sounds great, right? It's actually, that's kind of wrong. There's been two major problems that we've been facing since making this decision. The first is that comments are getting lost and forgotten faster than you can imagine. Especially when we're working on content development or making business decisions, we 
don't know where we've left comments or, you know, we think back to, oh, hey, I remember so-and-so said this. And because you can't currently mark a notification as unread or set a reminder to touch back when you have more time, I am constantly forgetting about things that my marketing director left me notes on too. And so if I pop into my Notion updates to check on things for my clients, I then have to set a manual reminder to go back and review the things that I wasn't actually looking for, but popped up in that update tab. And so obviously this isn't ideal for anyone, let alone teams with multiple projects going on like we do. And so one thing that I love is Slight's solution, which is called Catch Up. It's a tab in your left side panel. And so every day when you either open the Slight app or you're, if you're using it within the browser, you're actually greeted with a review of what you might have missed. And further, you can filter your notifications based on importance and a really great feature, turn on Do Not Disturb during your deep focus work sessions. And most importantly, set reminders for any notification or update that you're following. Honestly, it's kind of insane to see a tool finally prioritize how an individual within a team can set boundaries based on their own workflow. Further, Slight has rolled out discussions, which is currently my favorite feature of the software. Discussions is similar to an in-app inbox thread where you can set due dates, tag members, and even docs that you've previously created within your channels. The purpose is to come to a decision on an item without distraction or noise. And unlike Notion's commenting system that is no structure whatsoever, because you're able to comment on practically any command block or top of page, I know at least for my team, ideas and notes are constantly getting saturated. These two key components alone are why so many of my clients actually struggle with Notion. Unless they really maintain the way that we built their workspace for them, anything and everything can fall apart. And to be totally honest, I've seen a lot of past clients actually be less productive because of the features they want included inside Notion. And maybe I'm crazy, but constantly being afraid of breaking a setup or losing your content is really no way to work. And further, I truly believe to create a successful async team, you don't actually need all of those bells and whistles. You don't need things embedded and all these automations set up. All you need is a clean, easy to use navigation tool that prevents stress, and gets you back to working on dope shit, as I say to my community. Will I ever personally leave Notion? Y'all, that is the million dollar question. I can't say, but what I can say is Slight is a really incredible, powerful tool for teams who are information driven first via a simple digital workspace. Thanks again to Francesco and the entire Keep Productive team for having me. Let us know in the comments below or give me a shout out on Twitter of what you think of Slight. And remember, keep productive, y'all.